welcome to Critical Tumble, where a bunch of longtime friends and internet nerds transcend geography through the power of Discord to play Dungeons and Dragons and critically fumble a lot. We're sort of playing swap change with the people who are missing from our sessions, um, even even with the two who desperately needed a break. Having the break, we still have attendance issues and the desire to uh, scritch the chungus. There's nothing like the 38-pound chungus I posted on our shared Discord. <laughs> yeah, no, you can you can still see most of this one's legs. <laughs> that one was imp that is the the platonic ideal of oh how did he comment? <laughs> he yeah, was pretty drunk. much yes, uh, but he would lost eight pounds from the forty three he he found he'd been found at. <laughs> or forty six or something anyway. No, he's he's not adoptable because he's a, a failed foster apparently. Oh. Uh. But you know he's he's got a home and he's got somebody running him through uh, uh, one of those weight loss challenge programs or something like that. <laughs> Anywho, yes, we're missing a Lindira, but that's okay. It's not quite as important to this particular chunk of plot as missing a Remy. But we got around that, so go me! Yes. <laughs> Previously, the uh, Cupcake Coterie, most of it anyway, wound up in Avernus, uh, chasing after Alice, who was sent there by uh, Jessamy, the former Scourge Asimar, now I say fuck knows who or what she is at the moment, but Remy now knows. Remy now knows a whole bunch of shit. Which she will not be telling anybody just yet. We're not ready for you. <laughs> um, after a few bits of rescue, um, Remy decided, okay, we really need to ask uh, Ziriel some questions, up to and including you know, what Eva might be able to do to earn the kind of help we'd need if Alice has lost her memory, because at that point it was still sort of an if. <laughs> well, and of course the time differential still applies. So Remy was going to be there away a little bit longer than it seemed for you guys. Well, than it seemed for Remy, is what I mean. In the meantime, um, Clarity and Ava went hunting uh, through a couple of the tunnels just to see the you know what the what. One, they found an entrance directly into the in into the tower. They think. And one was a very bizarre room that uh, seemed to be where they were making draconians. Which is where they were spotted. <laughs> and chased back to uh, uh, the basically base camp at this point uh, by uh, multiple of them. One flesh-crafted monstrosity and uh, at least one that was very much on the uh, uh, it, it, it inspired Smeagol to be going, cast or fight! Cast or fight! Because as, if it's horrible, Smeagol will revel in it. Because challenge, I don't know. Uh, in the middle of that, because there's Remy with consciousness not particularly in her body at this point, um, there was a minor incident where uh, there was going to be some um, uh, spitting of horrific goo. Which, of course, everybody was kind of terrified for Remy about, right up until Alice a reminded everybody what her various bits of bracers, boots, and scimitars actually do. And Remy got kind of shunted out of the way by Alice a, who, rather silently and not really acknowledging these people, even the tiniest bit, uh, beyond getting things away from them, um, helped them dispatch this whole bunch of nonsense. Currently, they're fairly battered, further down on spell slots than they were even before they started resting up, which was half the point of the resting up, but never mind. Um, Sheree's been stabbed up right to hell. <laughs> the The two kids are kind of... If it weren't for Hazel's uh, mass cure wounds, they'd be a lot worse off, but still kind of ow. <laughs> And Alice is kind of looking around, not saying anything, kind of wary about the staring she's getting. 
Now, before anybody does anything, I would like for Ava, Hazel, Barnabas, and Rylan to make me perception checks or insight if you like that better. I imagine Hazel will be going for insight because that is her thing. And the same for me, sir. <laughs> Yeah, because I actually have proficiency there. Yeah. Okay. So, for all of you, she's not wearing the same clothes she was wearing when y'all disappeared. So she changed clothes somewhere along the lines. She's actually wearing her water skin, the uh, sort of across the chest rather than in her bag of holding. So she must have had access to that at one point. Has not rebraided her hair since because it's kind of a mess. She looks a little tired but not exhausted exhausted so clearly she's been you know, having halfway reasonable bits of sleep and food enough to keep going. The clothes are however they have been worn for a few days and are pretty battered so she hasn't attempted to mend clean or change them for hazel and ava no she could have the foggiest fucking idea who you people are she just knows okay you guys were in danger you are no longer in danger i have other shit to do and also they're staring at me and this is for Ava because she got the higher role she, there's also an element of y'all are staring at me and I don't like it so I'm going away now <laughs> now this is going to be a little weird but all of you but Remy make me straight up wisdom checks Okay. Oh. Uh, no, actually, this is probably going to be a little bit strange. Because this is how much or how little thought you've actually put into it. So the lowest number goes first. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Ava, she's clearly, I mean, you at least know that she's clearly weirded out by all of you and has other shit to do. So she's clearly about a second from leaving. What are you going to do? I was saying. No, she's just, the, the, the face is, oh great, they're making face noises at me. Why do they always make face noises at me? <laughs> that will be it. Hazel. <laughs> Stay a bit, please. You're reaching for her, aren't you? I'm like, no, I'm just holding up a hand, like. Yeah, hey, but please? she's she's right. A, she's right next to you, so that's kind of yeah, close. Yeah, I'm literally just doing this. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, it's. Yeah. No. Uh, it's it's face noises and reaching at me. This has got way too weird. I am leaving, and she in fact does. <laughs> Um, like, starts walking away, flies. Flies. Yeah, because we're in Ew. a cave, so I'm just wondering how yeah, it's a fair, it's, Remember, it's because you have to climb up to get to the spots that those two were at. It's a pretty high cave. Yeah, so she's going up. Up and back through the hole. And around this. Yeah, at around this, this point. Expression. Around this point, um, it's going to take. Remy, a couple of what you might consider rounds to wake up because ow so the first thing you get before you can open your eyes or really figure out what your body is doing is the smell of blood acid something acrid that's probably poison and what you think might be stone dust 
you guys mostly noticed that Remy is kind of, well, Rylan and Barnabas who were kind of, they wa kind of watched that happen, but they're also probably kind of noticed that Remy's, her breathing has changed and she's twitching a bit, so she's clearly about to wake up. Ever just got some some tears streaking down her face because she knew it was going to, it was a possibility, strong possibility, but it's still like. <laughs> okay, um, Remy is about at the point where she can open her eyes at the very least, but just as a reminder, because I thought it might be useful to sum up the bit that we did a few weeks ago. Um, Alice very much has lost her memory. Um, what Ava does is kind of up to her, but you and Hazel will help as you can. Because of the whole what what being a follower of a god means. Also, Jessamy is no longer an Asimar. Jessamy is in fact properly an Aranese. So probably are all the people she shared the stuff with, but that's another thing. And most important, there are still three Scourge Asimar imprisoned in the tower, and that is going to be Alice's priority. These are things that Remy knows as she opens her eyes, aching basically all over to find an absolute mess. And while we're at that, Bink. Alice! <laughs> <laughs> you guys have no idea why the hell she's yelling for Alice because she was really not there for that, but Oh boy. Let me folks around. Did it work? Make me a perception check. Remy this time. Did what work? There are uh, there are very definitely a couple of feathers, because uh, she did a fair bit of dodging not very far from where you were, so she was... Where did she go? It, it, it worked. Where did she go? <laughs> what worked? Where I'm is Alice? <laughs> she flew that, that way. Tell us what you're saying worked. We Remy don't know. We can't up. answer you. You can. Remy you looks can, up you, in you, the direction you Barnabas can, pointed. Yeah, you know, that's that's the hole that uh, you guys went to rescue those kids from, and where uh, Clarity and uh, and and Ava were going to scout. How high up is the hole? It's a climb. You have you have already Here does, climbed. Remy, stop this. being me. Be sane. First of all, you can now just about sit up. Like how said, high? Just, how, it like I said. Remy has take spells. A In, after a minute, Remy has spells. How high up is the hole? Um, it, it's very much something you could misty step if you were at the bottom of it. Yes. She attempts to stand up. That's gonna take a that's gonna take a minute. But you guys are seeing she's desperately pushing herself further than harder than she should be. You might want to do something okay, before she no. gets full 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 power in her limbs. <laughs> I'm going to basically just try to grab her by the shoulders and just forcibly sit her back down. Oh you, well, you, Hazel? Don't, you don't you don't really have to because she's just about managed to get up. You can see her kind of trying to get her legs under her. So all you really have to do is hands on shoulders. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, why answers. why is Alice up there and not down here? She was down here, but uh, I take it you probably know more about what happened to her than we do. She clearly did not have any kind of grasp of common, and when Hazel so much as raised a hand in her general direction... Not to mention all the staring she was getting. She was getting an awful lot of staring. She left. Oh my god, she can't speak common anymore. Oh, oh, I didn't think of that. Um, yeah, apparently yes. language Hang left on. her a lot with her memory. Out, out of character, Remy, Ziriel literally told you that as soon as he, she lost the capacity for understanding common, oh, for I, speech, etc., I don't remember that. Um, it, it was definitely there. I definitely put that there. So okay. it's like, I didn't think that. Oh, no, wait. He told me shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so yeah, for, first you get the, oh, I didn't think that, oh, no, wait, he told me shit. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that, that's, that's gonna make it hard. I really thought that plan was gonna work. I mean, it, it did work. She showed up, clearly. Oh, oh all right. Uh, first of all, because uh, I think we're going to need another minute. You will notice by this point that um, uh, Cherie, in particular, is kind of looking an absolute fucking mess. She got hit hard. <laughs> she got hit so Hazel, hard. Hazel, can you can you? I'm not I'm not the one bleeding. Hazel, can you please help Cherie? It's, it's fine. She's already helped somewhat. It just, I think, <laughs> while I understand the urgency here. You have information we need, and then we can help. Yeah. Answers. Okay. Okay. Works. Okay. Zero. I will oh. tie your ass up. Hazel. Hazel. She's talking. Shut up. Zero. <laughs> Hold me. Something I didn't think of that Alice would come if she sensed somebody in distress, such as an unconscious person whose consciousness is very much elsewhere yeah, totally. would therefore be in distress because they're sitting the body is in hell very vulnerably and at which point uh, seeing the confusion on Hazel's face Toby is look she if you remember Dex said running on instinct instinct is protector protector is I mean, I guess she was watching from wherever you two found, whatever you two found. Because, I mean, she was clearly behind everybody, and I think it's something about her armor or her something, I don't know. But one minute, the, this, that thing, because there's this big half-dragon-looking cobbled-together monstrosity, like, sort of uh, there-ish, in that sort of corner off to the... Uh, left hand side of the screen um, and it was sp uh, spitting acid because you, you probably didn't notice you moved a few feet because all of a sudden she was standing where you were and you were just out of out of the splatter and she didn't get hit by it either so whatever is up with her if you can call it armor um, it, it, was, it was really cool but yeah she was definitely making sure you didn't get hurt and then she kept that well you can't really see it anymore because when it died it turned to stone uh, and crumbled to like dust and I think that dust kind of turned was trying to turn people into stone kind of that's why there's only one body everything else exploded yeah they uh. got worse from last time last time they just turned to sludge now they detonate uh, clarity is well they detonated before but honestly it's probably good that they detonated the way they did because if it was all detonation by the black sludge uh toby and dax don't have uh and taps are protective so that's probably just as well yeah either way they're worse now and uh, sheree is all right you went to speak to Ziriel for answers. Yes. We need to hear them now, please. <sighs> okay. <sighs> well. Uh, uh, what do I start? Alice has been trying to help the Scourge Asimar. That was how she ended up falling in the river. And there's Wait, three has, more. She has wings. How did she end up falling in the river? Someone uh, hit her with a paralysis spell. They were taking some of them across the river, and she tried to intervene. Oh, that's what that was. This from Dax. Well, no, nobody, nobody cast any spells where where we were. It was just, uh, we saw something kind of bright over there, and then it stopped being bright, and there was a sploosh. Yep. And Shuri, Shuri is like, oh, the, the, the blood. Yep, that, 
That would do it too. Out of character, remember you can reassure them that's not going to happen anymore because you made a deal. Um, Sorry, didn't hear any no, of the No, you weren't the last supposed half. to. Remy, Remy was. On um, right side, well, the downside is that Jessamy is here and she's going to. Out of character, he never said she was here. She just I said. Didn't... No, she just That's said she wasn't yeah. Azamar anymore. She could be here, but she is no longer Azamar, is what you found out. She appealed okay. to Asmodeus and turned to Aranese. On the downside, Jessamy made a deal with Asmodeus, and she's a full Aranese now. On the plus side, I spoke to two of the planetars that are the progenitors of some of the Scourge Asimar, and they offered some protection against that blood magic, so when Jessamy inevitably comes after us, we have to take her alive. The vampire also, we need to find that vampire when we get back. And they need to be taken alive too, by the way. And take them alive too, but feels like we're going to find Jessamy first, or she will find us. Well, knowing knowing what your priorities are, that's kind of anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that anything that was told to you was told to you under the assumption that you were going to want to turn her into confetti. Yep. Do you still get to turn her into confetti if we, we need to take her alive? <clears throat> Out of character, Jessamy, yes. Probably. Out of character, Jessamy, yes. The vampire, no. Singara said she wanted the vampire. But Annie Freva gave uh, Jessamy to you guys. She just wants to look <laughs> Jessamy in the face. I was promised vengeance on Jessamy, but the Planetars will be dealing with the vampire herself. Mm. I can do the pack compromise. Good! Alright, so two points <clears throat> that were going to be dealt with was how Ava might be involved in this whole situation and what Alice without her mental faculties, but with the full drives of a protector, what might she be doing? Most likely looking for the three Scourge Asimar that are still in Arkans Tower. And we did find a trapdoor into the tower up there. Uh, I assume there's other ways in. Um, there were a few passages that should have been there, but I didn't see when we were moving. But it's possible that somebody clogged them back up, though with that thing having ripped through the passage, they might be opened up again. So we have a few more options, probably. But there is a trapdoor that leads directly to what I think is the tower. Just the other one, uh, we didn't get a chance to mention this, but uh, there was a pool of the black sludge, and they were dipping what I think were dragonborn eggs into them. Uh, maybe dragon God. eggs. That's what the, where they're getting their draconians. Given how fast Alice came after us, I imagine she was trying to find a way to make that not be anymore so maybe it's good that uh we had this little uh situation because it focuses her on people instead of black sludge which i don't know if she knows what it does anymore mm -hmm. i would hope she can instinctively sense how bad it is but even then that might not be enough to she still understand has her, how bad it is. She still has her protection. And clarity ah. is, yeah, but if it's not wiped off right away, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. True. 
don't know how we're going to get to her if she doesn't understand what we're saying. What was it that you and Bonhams were saying? You have hands. It's all like that. That combined with my hold person, well, hold monster, technically, but you know what I mean, is the only thing I can think of because Barnabas, make me an intelligence check. Out of everybody who knows about this, you're the only one potentially smart enough to think of this. Nope. <laughs> Fuck. No. <Nope. laughs> oh no. Sorry. <laughs> that no. That that's that's. That's how the dice roll sometimes. You know what? I'm gonna see if uh, Clarity can save your ass. She at least knows, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> she at least knows about it, even if. Uh... Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Apparently not. We're all. Oh damn it! You know what? <laughs> We're gonna try this my way. Sheree has heard stories. Fuck it. <laughs> That's better. I hate that it had to be a fucking NPC, but you know um... sometimes. <laughs> No, this is for you. I want you guys to be triumphing at some point, but apparently roll 28, y'all. Mm -hmm. And Sheree is... So, she has instinct, and she has muscle memory. Clearly, because she could fight. Mm -hmm. And she's of the people. Right. <gasps> How do the people talk? Wait, that's right! Yeah, I mean, no but that's... Common, she knows... That she might have at least an idea, she le might at least get an idea. It's worth a try. It is, mm, try yes. everything. Remy takes out her locket with the, the minor illusion of the two of them. Uh, which so. one? She has two now one uh, from their first outing and one's from their wedding. Yep, yeah, either one should you know show up, put up the picture for a second. Well, we just need to. Get her attention. And hopefully that will keep it long enough to try things. There's another option, because we did just have uh, quite a, a tussle. You all were staring. I was a little busy wiping acid off, but I saw a few things. How did she look? Um. I mean, her clothes looked a little worn. How did she look? She didn't seem to understand what we were saying or uh, why we were looking at her. That's... no. Physically, how did she look? Oh. Um, well, out of character, she didn't seem to have any injuries, did she? Or did she... Uh, well, the, those were probably have patched themselves up. She probably at least has an instinctive about her healing. Mm -hmm. What to remind y'all? Tired, but not exhaustion level tired, oh, right, right. etc., etc. She seemed tired, but not exhausted. So it seemed like she got some amount of rest. And in a place like she has a place uh, to hide. Thank you. Right. And we still have the ring, so we'll just see where she's going. Also, she... I mean, she's she has left a couple of feathers already. Mm -hmm. There might be at least some level of trail. So we just have to follow the trail. Mm -hmm. Back to Alice, eh? Or at least to where you know, we might actually be able to find her. But then again, given the fight we've had, she might at least have enough common sense to give herself a few minutes. At least if we find the place and we don't find her at the tower, because I assume that if she doesn't manage to get them free, we have to. Mm -hmm. Also, it might be... Bye -bye. Also, it might be a safe enough place to leave uh, Toby and Dax. I think you two have probably had a bit enough. It's either that or didn't you say there were another couple of us 
on the other side of the sticks. Yes, the problem is crossing. I mean, I could probably yeet you across, but uh, I'm going to need a few minutes to uh, read you a few spell bits and pieces. Which I meant to do right up until... Um, <clears throat> Sorry. It's hardly your fault. I'm, I'm more bemoaning fate than anything else. I'm sure Istis will forgive me for that. Going to be able to actually uh, recover things, or do you want spell work done? And I'm still not entirely ideal, but uh, I'm more concerned about actually being able to. Uh... I mean, I can fight when necessary. I mean, I can do, give you a little healing if you want to save Hazel's. Again, I'm not that concerned about it. It's more... If I'm having to throw these two back across the sticks, so they can at least be out of harm's way with their friends, mm -hmm. that's yet more spell energy that could be used elsewhere. Mm hmm. And in the meantime, I, I know you are probably all entirely sick of me doing this, but I need to hear some kind of plan. There are at this point two options for how we find her, where we find her, the circumstances is what I mean. Number one, we find her hidey hole and she's in it. How do we handle that? If she's not there, she's probably rescuing the Scourge Azelmar. What do we do then? And how do we handle it? Well, Remy and Barnabas are the only ones who know the language of the people. And uh, Remy and uh, Remy and Barnabas will see Cherie just go, you think? Oh, in sorry. The... <laughs> I didn't mean to assume. Uh, it's all right. I know the people are very uh, proprietary about their language most of the time, so you two must have been something fairly special to earn it. But uh, put it to you this way: um, one of the things that I made sure to do when I was aiming for my current career is to learn every language I can. That includes everyone we might trade with. And since we trade with the people on a relatively regular basis, uh, they don't, they don't, it, it, it's polite. They don't really like speaking common very much. They think it's awkward. We need to find the hideout first. If she's there, she's there. And if she's not, we can leave these two there while well, they'll be safer than going into mm -hmm. the heart of everything. How yeah. do we find it, though? We still in ring range? Yeah. yeah as, as far as Remy knows, the ring doesn't have a range. If it can sense her across planes, it doesn't yeah. have a range. <laughs> <laughs> well, directionally. Accurate yeah. within... Remy looks at the ring. Uh, for when you're both on the same plane, it's uh, less a look than a, a bit of a tug when you focus on it. And it's... It's still in a northwardish direction, which is weird because th the way your point, the the way Barnabas was pointing was south, and then you realize the problem of the actual problem of the ring, that it goes as the crow flies. The Remy points in that direction. And Clarity is looking at the the Michigan scratched map and going. Well, there are a few twisty, turny places around there, and uh, I think a few are around that direction. Again, we didn't see the turnoffs, but um, I think that was partially, again, because something closed them off, I guess, uh, when um, I guess when Alice got 
the two under the tent out, they noticed somebody escaped from there and closed it up on some level. But since that big thing ripped through places, it, it had to claw the tunnel open more just to get through it, because barely fit us. So now it's bigger. So Barnabas, it'll be easier for you. <laughs> and it, from the looks of things, it's opened up a few other places that we could check in that direction. But if it's going to be all of us, we I don't think we can do the sneak anymore. So we need to be careful. Because we didn't expect to trip over um, <clears throat> that cavern. Do I really want to do something about, but I don't know what. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing that works is radiant magic. That could be wrong. I mean, I can make it slightly sneakier, but if they have things like true sight and the like, not going to be really help much. Well, it's that's, still worth a shot. That and that was the Aranes anyway. I don't know how the Abishai are on that. I mean, I'm happy to do it anyway, just to even uh, increase the odds, but. And Dax is like, well, we're kind of safer. Um, uh, uh, wizard lady threw a mage armor at me. And Toby is like, that doesn't make you safer. That just makes you a little less squishy. Still counts. <laughs> I'm going to leave it up to you two. Do you want to be... And you can't come with us. That makes the group too large at this point. Do you want to go and wait in her hidey hole, which, while it would be somewhat safer, has the potential disadvantage of if we miss her, she's going to find somebody having invaded her space. Or do you want me to uh, effectively uh, uh, throw you across the sticks on this end and go and find your friends? They could probably use somebody a little uh, less squishy, as you put it. And Toby is just looking a little grumpy, like, these people deserve stabbing. Understand this. We're a little bit more equipped to stab them than you are. And Clarity is, I have lots of knives. Shows the... <laughs> Yeah, fine. We'll 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 go back. You'll have somebody to share all your theories with. I'm gonna need my notes back. Clarity is just. Can, can I look at them again later? If you survive, sure. I'll be back momentarily. I, I, I have I have some people to eat. Yeah, so the only arcane recovery I can really do at that point is the. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, any any chatting while this is going on? <coughs> They'll probably see like Ava like wiping me at zero eyes every now and then again. <laughs> yeah, because that's the that's the other thing we didn't talk about the Ava situation. Rem, Remy goes up, hobbles up to Ava. You can you can walk by this point. It's just now <laughs> you're now you're Ava. now now you're kind of in that. You know how you feel when you've moved house and you've spent like most of the day hauling furniture. Mm -hmm. 
that. <laughs> me and my dad did that. Just whenever I, however long ago I moved into this place, we moved that heavy <laughs> ass stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with this. Don't, don't don't even get me started about having to move in here. It wasn't the furniture; it was the fucking source books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. 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 number of those you were drowning in by the end there. And I have I have more now than I did then. <laughs> Books be heavy, especially hardcovers like those, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I mean, at the very least, two doors down, I had a wagon. But mm. even pulling the wagon when you have fibro is not a good idea. Yeah. And then I had I to will. haul them into place. Anyway, yes, so that, that that's about where you are at this point. <clears throat> Revy puts her hands on Ava's shoulders and looks her very seriously in the <laughs> eye. Ava... If you want to walk the path of any god, really, it is something that you have to do wholly of your own choice. It is something that it's a calling, but it's still in your hands. And that's intimidating. I understand that very much, but it is about offering your service to do something greater. So, me and Hazel will have your back, and everyone, of course, will have your back if you choose that path, but at the end of the day, it is something that you have to ask for to offer. And then, that is how you receive the blessing. Hazel will probably have something to say about that later. More than likely. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Clarity being... Not that I know anything much about uh, being faithful to gods and all that sort of thing, but I know it'd be great if we could get the blessing to get Alice's memory back here, but I wouldn't advise it. Because remember when Hazel was asking for that omen and there was the rumbling? Yeah, it made someone angry. They'll, they'll sense if something yeah. big is going to happen with, a, with, with, with one of the actual gods behind the Divine Gate doing something in Asmodeus's territory. I think. Yeah. Pretty sure. Hazel? Yeah. Yeah. If we try anything while we're still here... The... We, already, we already pushed up the Archduchess. We probably don't want to add more to that. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's worse than that. Like, just because of that omen by itself, like, we're already a little bit spotlighted. That, that that attracting miracles probably not as irregular as we think but it'll definitely put a pretty big spotlight on us like anything in the vicinity will feel here and smell it At minimum. I mean, we have to get Alice to trust us anyway. To start with, so. Our situation's oh. complicated, but it, at least the things we kind of have to do are comparatively dead simple. We have to get to Alice. Talk to her in a way she understands. And then ideally, if we, you know, don't manage to do any of the other things we've already said or planned on doing while here, at that point we just kind of have to pull the plug, go back, and then re-enter later. 
Can we even do that though? I mean, it's not. Uh, is it that something like getting into the hell is as simple as. I know it's not easy. That's kind of the point I'm making here. Clarity is, is she going to want to come with us, though? Well, that's what I mean about making her trust us. Mm -hmm. it, it's not It's not about trust. It's about she doesn't remember another home. Which will mean we need the miracle, which will put the spotlight on us. We're damned if we do and damned if we don't. Hell, I'm pretty, um, hells, I'm pretty certain we're literally damned considering we're here. Well, I mean, once we're ready to leave with her, I, we, I can cast Hold Person. She would hate it, that, though. Would no yes, she like would, it. but if it holds her long enough, for sure it'll get us out of here. Would it, though? If it do. doesn't, that's going to make things even worse. Yeah, I know. It's not ideal, but... At that point, we res we have to resort to miracle, and then we just deal with the consequences. We can we can theorize about it all day, yeah, but at the end of the day, we have to do it, something. Commit to the bit. Yeah. Shuri uh, comes back through. All right. I I heard some of that from down the way. Thankfully, they were relatively quiet while being uh, eaten. Uh, but if you give me a bit, I can probably prepare something that might be of indirect help. I know that the issue is that we also have to get the other Skirjazma out of here. We've promised to do that. We haven't... We did explain that it might not be possible to get them back at the same time as we are. I brought a few bits and pieces to do some prep work. You give me a bit. I can do a sending to the governor. Explain as much of the situation as I can. Thankfully, I'm very good at uh, shortening things to 25 words. But a lot of that entirely depends on those last three Scourge Asimov that Remy was talking about being released, because we're going to need them. Because mm -hmm. when we get back, it won't be very long for us. It'll be long for them, but it might be enough if we time it right for the four that are already rescued plus the three we're going to get out to get back to that campsite. And let them know what's going on. Mm. Let them know they don't need to hang on for much longer. And because sending all of these people for one simple trip of that type would be a bad idea because I don't have an exact accurate head count I'll just get back to that very specific spot now that I can describe it very briefly in order to get them all back But we need those three to be able to get those four back so that all of the ones that we can rescue are in one place. Because I can't go chasing all over Avernus for them. You don't have the time. So I'm guessing this means... So if I'm understanding everything correctly, those last three are probably Tower... Out of yes. character, yes, out of character. Remember, they are more heavily guarded because there used to be five, and two saw what they were going to try to do to them and decided that, no, they'd rather be dead. In Avernus, they'd rather be dead. As you do have Shri going, 
I have a feeling there's a little more than that, given the, the expression on that little face. How bad is the situation in terms of their guards? Probably quite heavy. So very not much not the sort of thing that we can uh, give to one person. And that's where the trust comes in. Hold person depending, by the way, lasts for a minute. Mm -hmm. I can give people sufficient instructions for a minute. However, not to impugn your abilities, but uh, I have a feeling she'd have a harder time fighting off mine. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah, the loose, loosely translated, uh, her, the spell save DC for her is probably higher than the spell save DC for you. Probably. Mm -hmm. What is your spell save DC anyway? 16. Yeah, higher Same than yours. Here. Higher than yours. And we're going to need to talk to Arkin while we're at the tower. Uh, Hopefully our best uh, chance. All right, I think I'm a little bit behind the times here. Why? Oh, no, we definitely told you about this. Zeriel, well, Zeriel and I discussed that. And, and a, oh boy, so you, anyway, Arkin. Uh, well, no, I know who sure. he. Is, I know who he is. I just want to know why you need to talk to him now. We yeah, sort of we've been planning this the whole since we got here. We yeah, because we thought he'd tell us well, how he. I mean, yes, it was also because of the TMR. Was, thing, first, but... it was mostly related to Alice, but yeah. also just in general. Last time we spoke, he was already on shaky ground with what TMR's been doing, and the and the stuff associated with the filth. So, since, uh, according to everyone we've talked to, he seems consistently displeased, if not more so than before, maybe just, maybe we can get some help out of him instead of just kind of indifference and let's see where things go. Ariel thinks we can help him. But do what? Well, escape Tiamat, I imagine. It, the thing is... What do you actually say? It has to do with the hand, doesn't it? The, 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 the hand is... He has sacrificed a lot for Tiamat, and... If he... Even if we could convince him to argue to her that the corruption will destroy her, she would view that as a betrayal of her. As much as if he did actually, if he did try to break away entirely. Regardless of how much he's given to her, essentially if he stays where he is, he's going to be corrupted like the Draconians. Probably worse than the Draconians, but my issue is do we have time? Particularly when we don't know exactly how much communication will happen. We can get a point across to Alice, probably. But I don't know how much full on communication can happen. I'm um, expect if we go into the tower, I'm expecting we'll find him. Yes, one way or the other. Have time to talk, and will he be able to do anything but fight us if we're not in whatever bit of privacy he's managed to carve out for himself? I have a further thought on that. I'm not saying that you don't need to speak to him. By the way, again. Sending. You, you give me time to prepare, I don't know him particularly well, but if we can get any kind of look at him, 
I you also I... mentioned uh, when we brought this up before. You mentioned a uh, what was it? Gias. Yes, but that was that that would have to be saved for when we have proper time to talk to him. What I was going to do is, if he was interested in discussing matters with you, if I can get him a untraceable message, giving it a time and a place. The kind of time and place that it would be impossible for a large group to go unnoticed to ambushes. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, we definitely take those if that's a possibility. Thing is, I don't know if it can be anywhere in Equitas. Well, where have you met him before? Mm -hmm. uh, out of character, Black Crown. Beach. And this right. beach at Star Coast. Star Those Coast and Black Crown. Right. I think. Seeking maps of Baron's Veer. And I imagine they're still cleaning up somewhat after um, some of the mess. I know a few people who should be able to get us there. It doesn't have a teleportation circle, but there's an inn in a town a little way south of Black Crown. Um, I mean, tech, it used to be a, a manor. It was run by minor nobility. Um, I, I most Mostly I hear rumors and gossip. Uh, a Griffian student, apparently, uh, learning to make weapons for revenge or something. I don't really know. But there is an inn. An army will be relatively nearby, because they're still clearing out that area. Considering the explosion, yeah, they probably will be. So, all I need to do is get a look at him. Okay, that I think we can do. And then once we've got things a little bit more settled... I message him. All right. When we'll try. When when we ha when we have a, a date and a date and a time. Soon, obviously, but we can't pause to have a conversation with him because we don't know where Alice would go at that point. Mm. Yep. So I suppose the first thing we're doing is finding her hidey hole just so that if we don't see her, we know where she'd re have retired to. Once we're there, I can at least sit down for a few minutes so I can uh, do some prep work. Honestly, don't know how late it is at this point, but it doesn't seem like we're going to have the time to get a proper rest. At this point, probably not. You know, we're Now that we're kind of in a bit of a rush, mm -hmm. if we've lost any time to even really hit the uh, tower outside of our rescue mission... Hazel, Hazel, if she needs time, what does your god mark give you besides... Press to digitation. Are I blanking just a little bit on the Hero, specific heroes, one? Heroes Feast? 
Ah. Yeah, I thought it was that. I just wasn't complete. I wasn't sure I was getting it right. Well, that's why you say. Do you mean? Yeah, I was gonna ask. I was just racking my brain first. Uh, if well, if there's a honestly, how much prep time do you, are you going to be uh, needing? Because uh, I might have something to match. If it's something that will help us be a little more prepared for what we're about to do, we'll make time. Oh yeah, very much so. Uh, yeah, but well, I need actual foodstuffs and rummages. How right. much time as it needs to, as I need to prep a meal? All right. Um, well, I mean, what I have is rummages in bag of holding. I mean, we've got the ration bars. Um, I've got my fudge, but I'm keeping that. <laughs> oh, right. Um, I put my uh, I, I put my stasis bag in there. A fa fairly bulging kind of thing. This keeps food in stasis for about a week. Um, I wasn't sure how long we were going to be here, and uh, well. I had some meal plans, which I think are pretty much out the window now, but I'll make it up to you. Um, foodstuffs. Shows the bag. I will, I will need the bag back. You'll get it back, I can guarantee. It seems to be the... Uh, and you'll probably like this, because it seems to be the uh, fixing... It's... The fixings look kind of like for chili, but there's also bread rolls, sort of, just wider and flatter. There's a grin on my face. Um, I'll I'll walk you through how to make those. Um, uh, we 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 call them sloppy joes. Going to <laughs> briefly reach into bag and produce uh. One of the, thankfully the same one of the, the the only the third most potent of the hot sauces no. rather than the first two. <laughs> no, we know they still smell. We don't know how they taste. <laughs> Even only at number three. We're in a furnace, and that's not ambient food. Putting it away. <laughs> Besides, you'll probably like those peppers. Just d dice a few extra into yours. All right. <laughs> And do. So, yeah, uh, we're looking at the various benefits of a hero's feast. And, uh... Yeah, once that's eventually cast. It's 2d10 for everybody, so... So we get ten two d ten extra max hit points, extra and it hit heals us and the you same. Gain that much, yes. Yeah. I'm picking just a sec. Yeah, that's actually done. Uh, actually done. Sheree, a uh, fair bit of good. This is a good thing. Because yeah, the 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 the, the crit on the the sneak attack bullshit from that assassin motherfucker was uh, less than fun. It sounds like it was an owl. It really was. Some sometimes my tendency to roll far far too many crits is. Uh, is 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 unfortunate. But yeah, she's got uh Yeah, 
one one more cast of uh, of hold monster. That means we can get that. Uh, all I've got left is the one Christ sometime wizard sometimes. Yeesh. Okay, we um. It's a shame you've only just come back, because uh, if, if, if you'd waited a second, I would have actually said because we're at about break time. So, no, no, that's fine. It's just I, I, I kind of hate to waste your time. But when we come back, we'll make a start at uh, searching the various tunnels and seeing what y'all can get done. Hopefully we'll be able to, and we're we're not we're not getting uh, Ethan back for a little while yet, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening with Dawn because she's she said jack shit to me, but uh, we might end up out of Avernus sooner than uh, I necessarily thought, which is just as well because Avernus is horrible and I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean the 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 story has been great, but yeah. <laughs> And we're back, um, finishing up a uh, hero's feast, which I actually had to remind uh, the player that we had, uh, because it seems like now is probably a great idea for one. Of course, it has involved an hour of prep, and uh, everybody's, and I mean everybody's, first taste of Sloppy Joe's. <laughs> which, because it's hero's feast and it's ambient quality food, is actual proper ambier quality sloppy joes. Boom. Magical. Yeah. Oh yeah. Divinely so. <laughs> but yes, watching watching Cherie teach Hazel a dish is uh, A probably a little nice for Barnabas, but B also a little uh um Gut punch to the soul because it's usually Alice a teaching mm -hmm. Hazel yeah, a new just, dish. That's <laughs> definitely more where Ava's mind is going. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling, but you know, at, at the same time, it's I imagine for Hazel, it's it's usually Alice a doing this, but I get to learn new things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Hazel's in that frame of mind of yeah, yeah. I usually have one person, but that. I've grown enough to be able to deal with. Uh, hey, anybody else want to teach? Sure, I'll take that. Oh yeah, it it's not so much the that it's the uh, remembering who isn't there and why. That's got oh yeah. There's else also a bit of like woof, but yeah, we're close to to mission success, and I'm focusing on that. That's entirely fair. Um, well, which that that's going to take about an hour. You said, or yeah. is that the? Yeah, that, that, the... That, that's 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 the. You know, she's told she told Hazel what to do. Hazel has to add her own, uh, ah, right. her own. Bits yeah, and I have a, to that. Technically, my casting time is ten minutes, but mine is altered because it's meal prep based. Because I have gotcha. to food. Right. Yeah, and uh, once uh, once. Cherie has given Hazel the directions. She is doing some spell prep and some oh. arcane recovery. Um, effectively, just to make sure that she's got Hold Monster left to do it, which means that uh, most of most of her arcane recovery has gone on to the uh, level 5 spell slot she's going to need for that. Yeah, because hold monsters a lot beefier than hold person to start with. Yes, and that's why she picked it for this trip. She didn't know she was going to be mostly, in fact, entirely using it on members of the party. Yeah. <laughs> this hold person's great, but but the hold monster doesn't even work on humans. Uh, no, well, hold monster works for creature. Any creature, humanoid counts as a creature. Yeah, basically, it's broader in range range of categories it can lock down. Because um, old person is just humanoids. No, because well, well, that that's taking that. Uh, she probably try mainly trying to like get her mind on something else. Try and think of any people she remembered who interacted with her parents a lot, who might be a 
good fit to either help rebuild Cedar Grove or potentially like help run it and that sort of thing. Well, remember, they've mentioned that there's uh, and following the, in the footsteps of uh, Francine mm -hmm. uh, because anybody who's going to rally the people is going to need to be more of the common people at this point, just because the new ability is probably hard hit and scattered. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is David, and he was the brother of uh, I think in the, of the group it's only Clarity and Hazel who uh, who knew Nora. But uh, yeah, David Bailey. He runs a, a tavern called The Beacon. Uh, right, yes. Yes. Um, Clarity can explain while the prep is going on that uh, uh, his father was a her, their father was a cleric, mm -hmm. their mother was a bard. And still are apparently they're still off adventuring somewhere, but they gave both Bailey siblings a uh, good a uh, good enough grounding to decide what they were going to do. David, while he has you know, the basic grounding in, you know, combat tactics, etc., is running his parents in right now. So that means he also knows how to deal with people the same way that Francine does. And make me a history check, actually. Let's see if he can come up with anything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th that's actually kind of unfortunate uh, uh -oh. <laughs> because it's one of those situations where you know you didn't spend all your time learning how to hunt in Equitas. You were mm -hmm. looking for other individuals. The people that you knew either got threatened enough to be suitably on board with uh, the, 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 the rule in Black Crown or they already were or they just got wiped out too you were not yeah. the only household hit so there's basically any people I have thought of already like well, more you, or less gone they're gone or you don't know where their allegiances lie right, right now yeah. And at the end of the day, having spent the time you have around these ones, you're probably starting to come to realize that sometimes it's better if you need to rebuild a country from the ground up uh, to have it happen due to people who already really know the place from the ground. Mm -hmm. And you could still look for a couple, but their allegiances might be a little shaky, especially given what you heard about Star Coast. You don't know who else might have uh, filth in their basement. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else want to do anything else while the you know, beyond pacing impatiently and uh, stuff, <laughs> stuffing a, and stuffing a sl sloppy Joe into their face. I mean, you just absolutely described what Barnabas is doing, so. <laughs> <laughs> Rylan, questions, comments, thoughts? Too many all of the time, but that yeah, is normal, is so. <laughs> Well, yes, that's that's why I'm asking. I'm giving. Uh, I'm giving. Yeah, what are the hind food experiences? I mean, at this point, it's more of a waiting for things to kick in because we have shit to do. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just wondering if you had any uh, idea of prep or anything you wanted to do. Um, I've got nothing else beyond my spells, so... Yeah, because uh, that's the thing. You are a sorcerer. You I've already do... got the mage armor up. No. It, I don't. It, uh, 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 let, let me finish. Sorry. You know you can use sorcery points for more than metamagic, right? 
Yeah, but I've, how many spell slots have I found realistically? Well, there's definitely blight. Yeah, I don't. I'd only go down a couple of spells or Ca um, counter a couple spell. of points. Yeah, but at the same so that's seven. At the same time, might be useful. Is I'm I'm fair enough. I'm not saying enough, you should. Me... I'm just saying have a look. Yeah, I have to go find the table of points to slot translation again. So that's one, two, two, three, 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 five. You okay? Table below. Um, sorcery point and cost uh, two sorcery points for first level slot, uh, three sorcery <laughs> points for second level slot, yep. five for third, sixth for a fourth, and seventh for a fifth. So that takes me. So what would I have? Yeah, no, this is right. Okay. Extra camera spot probably might come in handy. Never know. It was not for the once. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the only reason I th was I thought about it was because I was uh, having to look up. Uh, you know, what I could do with arcane recovery just to make sure that you know Shri actually had hold monster uh, to properly use. Fair enough. Fair enough. So okay. Uh, spell slots. Does anybody want to roll hit dice apart from what's already been added to? And Remy is ironically fine because was protected. Oh well, she took a couple hits. Previous engagements, so she will roll that dice. Uh, keep in mind, you get two d10 from the hero's feast, and your hit point max goes up that same number. Yep. Just I added case. the 16. Okay, cool. You rolled 16 too, Christ. <laughs> I don't know. I thought we go off the oh. caster's roll. Well, uh, for that spell. I guess I kind of did anyway, because I rolled two <laughs> eights. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen's all aligned. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think I will do that this as well. Hilariously, uh, just from whatever I happened to do before, I, I was already next to Bull. Or not. Yeah, same with me, huh? Um, Pretty good. You know, you know that if you want to roll hit dice you can and you can hit dice on the... you, you can do that on the character sheet I did not <laughs> you briefly interrupt our session to handle yeah, technical yeah, yeah. difficulties <laughs> oh <laughs> got it thank you uh out of character mechanical sidebar that is also a very good way to roll uh, your hit point increase when you level up because mm -hmm. it's the same ah, number of dice good point oh nice because it, it's all you know your your hit your you know that particular die plus the thing so mm -hmm. cool So, that everybody, everybody good. Actually, the very last thing I should probably be doing is, um... Yeah, that'll do. Roll a couple of hit, uh, roll a couple of hit dice myself, why not? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
the kids will sort themselves out. That'll be fine. <laughs> they're, they're, they're currently out of the main event. That's good. That's fine. Okay. So. Yes, I, I mostly imagine that uh, uh, Remy pacing, eating probably a little too quickly. Barnabas mostly following along to keep her company because he's usually more chill about that kind of thing. But, mm -hmm. you know. Pacing, buddy. It's always better when you don't do it alone. <laughs> <laughs> and Michigan, uh, who, you know what, I'm going to say also managed to get the heroes faced. <laughs> Sounds up to 12. Yeah, <laughs> this works. Gremlin. Yeah, well, yeah, you, you weren't entirely sure right up until the. Uh, it's just nymph into uh, an unattended uh, sloppy joe and delicious nymph. <laughs> and there's the inhaling of food I was waiting for. Delicious. <laughs> but, you know, extra, extra, extra hit points, immunity to poison, hey. Advantage and, on wisdom saves yeah. if it comes up. And it can happen. And then just happily curls up in the griffin bag. <laughs> oh, I'm fairly certain that just by that, today is when. <laughs> After all, Omen Griffin. Omen. Gremlin. Omen Gremlin. <laughs> I'm going to kindly let you take 20 on the climb. But based on various people's uh, 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 athletic scores or lack thereof, it's not easy. <laughs> And clarity is sort of. I've still got the map, and there's a couple of likely spots for, uh, for, for, whatever hidey hole Alice has. So, I'll take the lead. Mm -hmm. um, should I do? Where we probably still want to go, Sheree, is we probably still want to go relatively single file, even if the tunnels widened out. Because yeah. A, we don't know whether it'll tighten up later. And Clary is probably, yeah. And I don't know if the radius fits all of us. Yeah. Mm. Not single file, I don't think. Yeah, it'd be a bit of a stretch. We'll just have to attempt quiet. Yeah. So yeah, if everybody wants to make me a uh, stealth check, including those of you what have disadvantage because uh, clank. Yeah, no, there's there there's clank and there's jingle, cause chainmail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's big minor door, kind of hard to be sneaky. <laughs> clop. He's got clop, clop, clop. He's got hooves that go jingle, jangle, jangle. <laughs> Did you, we, you have Sheree. Uh, so we just four went past without trace entirely. Yeah, cause we weren't entirely sure this was cover everybody anyway, and Sheree gotcha, is gotcha. like. I'm going to speak to some of our leather workers. There must be a way to make something that will muffle that. Uh, mm, let me know if they have something, because... Well, it'll, I've probably, been... it'll probably be more than letting you know. We'll have to go to uh, various leather workers so they can take measurements, if nothing else. Mm. Well, I would definitely be down for it, because I've been 
noisy for since the day I was born, basically. <laughs> uh, only really need to wear it when you're trying to be stealthy. I, I think it's charming, personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and you definitely see in that first bit of uh, corridor or just where the big really big thing clawed its way through and it does seem to have opened up a couple of passages which somebody must have stone shaped shut because Ava in particular knows those weren't there before hmm. and, That's cool. and Clarity seems to have a particular spot in mind which and it takes a little while to get there and you do kind of pass in the same approximate direction as uh, the the one with the uh, trap door but you sort of go off a ways further to the north where uh, Remy had been pointing because you've, you've switched back a couple of times which is a little bit interesting when you find uh, what appears to be uh, a, a pile of bricks. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, like the, 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 my dice like clarity too. Well, she says, I don't think she's going to mind if we dig that out. I mean, she's not here, but maybe looking in will give us an idea of how she is, where she is, what she's doing. Because she's put this back up here to hide her spot. Hmm. And this is Clarity. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Uh, this this is yeah. This is either a well, actually no. This is probably a Remy and or Hazel because Barnabas can't see very well right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm gonna go help. Yeah, between between you, you d dig out the uh, spot relatively well, and those of you who do have dark vision, um, see. Small bed roll. Some strips of cloth that actually do look like the clothes you saw her wearing when you know, before she was taken here, um, but they're shredded into what, given the stains on them, were probably bandages. A couple of. Uh, couple of bits and pieces of uh, crumpled up paper bag you think and clarity looking at them um, this, this, this looks like uh, it looks like she at, this was when she at least knew where her food stores were okay well she was definitely here what I was going to ask is a uh, disadvantage for uh, Ava and Barnabas because uh, you, you, you no can't dot. see very well, but uh, <laughs> yeah. make me perception checks, everybody. See what you Nothing. Find. Well, that makes uh, that makes entire uh, entire amounts of sense, and of course it's <laughs> of course it's Ryland and. Yeah, uh, Hazel is more looking at the at the bandages and you know trying to figure out because uh, you, know, you couldn't you couldn't really see anything that suggested marks on her, but now you're kind of wondering, you know, was she hurt that bad? I didn't really see. Damn. <laughs> um. Rylan and Remy both notice that uh, 
there's a couple of bits and pieces uh, uh, the occasional coin, mostly silver and copper, um, uh, one of those cloth scrunches that she sometimes wore in her hair when, uh, you know, when she didn't have the clips in, um, sort of scattered, um, like what might have happened if she didn't understand how her bag of holding worked and simply turned it upside down. Mm -hmm. She seems to have managed to gather most of it back up. Is there anything particularly valuable that was discarded unknowingly? That's what I was good I was, I was I was getting to that point actually. Um what Rylan will find I'm going to roll the hand of fate on that just to see with it. Mm. Yeah, no, the the hand of fate hates everybody right now. Um, the uh, Rylan finds a locket. No, he didn't see what they picked for these. So all Rylan knows is that there's a locket, very well made. It's probably from Ambir. So it's recent. It, the only reason he saw it cause, was because he spotted a very small glint uh, from under the sort of a lump of what was left of her uh, last outfit that she was apparently using as a pillow. Oh, shit. Uh, t to be fair, you know it's not her protective uh, talisman. Uh, her protective talisman is a, a, a cheap-ass-looking wire-woven thing that she has never taken off. And in fact, mm -hmm. you remember she was still wearing when you saw her. You don't know what this is. You just know it's, oops, she dropped something. Grab the locket. I mean, how many lockets did you and her have? Remy will snatch the locket from Violet. <laughs> and that's the thing. You were the only one who had two. She the the compact thing that she got in got in Bellarace, that was for you. Mm -hmm. You both had one that was uh, of the wedding art. And that's the one you just snatched off Rylan and only Rylan being relatively dexterous that uh, you didn't accidentally snap the chain when you grabbed it. <laughs> Sorry, but snatch is... <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Sorry. Um... <sighs> oh, I, I can't well, believe me. <laughs> she will carefully look at that for later. Yeah, of course, none of you know what this shit is. I don't know if anybody's curious. I mean... Clarity probably is, but is kind of... Uh, Hazel can see the expression of, I want to ask something, but I also don't, because Remy's got the scary face again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, my reaction is mostly, oh, Remy is Remying. I'm, I, I, at this point, I give up. I want no part of that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm. I want no iota of that smoke. I'm, I'm, I'm tempting fate here, but uh, uh, Remy, do you want to roll me an insight check? Good grief! <laughs> <laughs> it's that's the thing. If it had just fallen by mistake. It was under something pretty severely, given that you saw Rylan draw it out from a, a, a pile of cloth she was using as a pillow. She may or may not have opened it, but it pretty clearly wasn't just discarded. So maybe it was there for safekeeping, not just... I mean, the, the couple of silver and coppers you found, the scrunches were just kind of sort of off to the edge of the bedroll, like she dumped it out and scooped up everything she remembered and then got into the bedroll. Mm. This is tucked under something. 
And she won't take the locket back out and examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you can't tell whether she's opened it or not, but given, I'm going to use that as a general wisdom uh, bolster, it means she's seen it. So either she's going to wonder why the hell you have it, or she's going to try to take it back. Which mm -hmm. means, at the very least, even if she doesn't understand you particularly well, because, again, you're probably only going to get vague concepts, it will get her close enough for what you need to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you see Remy pocket it, and then pull it back out, and just... Okay, what? This exactly. I, I, I was, I was gonna ask. Uh, you, you, you have the face, but mm -hmm. if you tell us, <laughs> and Shuri, is if you tell us what you're thinking, we can help you do it, whatever it is. Remy will show them the illusion. If she recognized that this was important, then that's a way to get close to her and try to reach her. Well, at the very least, it puts her within, within grabbing distance, I suppose. But first things first. Clarity, you said we were close to uh, uh, the tower entrance. Yeah, there's a trap door up there, but we heard people moving around in it. So there might be issues. Well, we'll have a listen again. We don't know. I mean, given they've just lost a whole bunch of staff, they might have moved some of the guards elsewhere, at least on the main entrance. I don't think trying to... Because there was a path out that walked you th through the courtyard outside the tower. Yeah, I think that's this one, which we can access now, but... Uh, yeah, if they're looking for the people that were chasing us, there are probably a lot of them out there. So, what do we think? Do we try listening for the trapdoor? Or try to find the outside and look from there? Or... Said so the trapdoor looks safe uh, option. Sure is at the very least there's uh, there's not enough room for an entire army to come crashing down on us at mm -hmm. once. Mm -hmm. Clarity is right. Uh, I'll lead the way. And yeah, it's not very far at all. And I'm going to go with passive perception here because it's a whole lot easier. Um, yeah. Um, there's some there's a few marks that probably nobody else is really noticing but you tend to notice marks on wood yeah this door has been used recently like within Why? the last 10-15 minutes recently. Like I say, that's Rylan. So I don't know if Rylan's saying anything. Is, uh, I think I'll say one back up. Look at look at the marks. These doors this door just got used, like yeah, within the last yeah, fifteen it's, minutes. It's sorta of up there, so within the last mm -hmm. fifteen minutes somebody went up there. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. Ava, Ava might be able to see it if she could see in the dark, but she can't, so. Well, that would fit. We do know she's going to try and get the scourge out of now. Remy checks the ring. Get it up. Oh, crap. She might not be too far ahead of us. Well, Barnabas is the tallest of us, so uh, if somebody could uh, hot and cold game him to whatever handle this door has, or is it a push-up situation? From what Rylan can tell, the, the hinges mean you'd have to push it up to open. 
close shop situation. No handle. No visible handle, anyway. Yeah, help me get that. I'll give you all a boost. Yeah, I mean, once, once you, you can, you can skate the, across the ceiling with hand. So, once, once you feel wood, you can feel where you can give a push, and it doesn't seem to be locked, which is interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, Okay, who's going up first? Well, uh, I'm one of the ones who's the most fine. And I can run like the Dickens if needed. So, I mean, I, I'm just saying whoever is going up first, step up to Barnabas. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna move forward. Yeah, and basket with the hands and whoop. First thing Hazel sees is uh, this thing was covered by a rug, but it had been moved before the second time the door opened just now. You can tell because it's crumpled kind of funny. And from the looks of it, it there there's some light. There's a, a few torches burning. Um, and it looks like a couple of people... Um, abandoned uh, some food you don't really like the look of in a hurry. This is probably the 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 the, the soul food yeah. end quote. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of inch inch over to it and like and and, and like pull a like a crossbow bolt from the ammo and that's where you just Poke, poke. <laughs> I mean, it's it. Who's going up second? Because they're gonna see uh, Hazel. I I'm gonna say Remy because fuck it. Yeah. I was I was gonna say if Remy didn't, Ava would. <laughs> yeah. So Remy comes up to find Hazel poking at a dish of something uh, kind of dark and wibbly with a just poke, 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 and you're not sure. Why. Hazel, what are you poking? <laughs> It looks really, really weird. I didn't want to touch it. So, there's lots of weird stuff here in hell. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that Ava goes next because yeah. she was the. Uh, and yeah, you see these two arguing about the food that Hazel's poking. With a crossbow uh, bolt, no less. <laughs> If I had a copper for every time I heard Hazel, what are you poking? I could have. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, uh, Sheree, who's volunteering for up next, so you have somebody who can see in the dark with you for as long as possible. Um, I've heard about your exploits and the amount you've earned from them. You can already afford to retire. And then just steps for, for boosting. Uh, Yes, Hazel, uh, you probably don't want to touch it. You probably don't want to poke it either. It used... it, it, it's, it, that's what I meant when I said that the food was made of souls. Oh. I'm just looking at it and, 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 and now even more disgusted expression. Uh, Clarity is up next. What are we poking now? Just find a door. <laughs> and then then Rylan and Barnabas can probably haul himself up. He's got the athletics for it, so mm -hmm. yeah, you're you're in. What Barnabas in particular recognizes is this is this is guard rec room. The only thing that's weird is well, the food. <laughs> Which again has been abandoned in quite a hurry. They peeled right out of here. Looks at the food. Oh, you poor bastards. Because there look to be signs of biting, things being knocked over, or just um, discarded. I'm going to hand a fate this. Um, well, a couple of the chairs were knocked over, but you're not entirely sure whether that's just they got up, so they got up really fast, or they got knocked over in... You have to figure that if Alice was in a fight with people in this room, um, 
the tables would probably not be upright. Mm-hmm. You don't know what she would have done about the food. <laughs> but she would not have been pleased. Remy checks the ring again. Up. Maybe there, Alice, uh, Alice, I might have just blitzed her way past whoever was here. So just going or, straight up. Or they went out to find out about the uh, disturbance in the draconian room. Hopefully. But yeah, you do find a door. Um, pretty solid looking thing, but obviously not locked. Uh, incidentally, one of the things that Remy and basically everybody else eventually, if they look in that direction, does notice is that... Um, it's not that the trap door was unlocked exactly. It's that the lock was broken. Recently, you can still mm. there's a there's a there's a look to recently splintered wood. Sounds like I'm saying. So thankfully, nobody else was apparently nobody else was in here when she punched her way up. Hmm. But yeah, basically you've got zero windows and one door. We're on the right path. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. And, uh, Sheree is doing... Well, I don't hear anyone outside right now. Uh, Alright, this, 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 since we're directly in here, then now I'm starting to worry. Well, you have... Uh, For the moment, let's not uh, question our good fortune too hard. Yeah. I figure most Just... of the guards will be up. Mm. Probably. At the very least. <laughs> well, Remy did say heavily guarded. Let's go. Who's yep. going first? Remy. <laughs> Well, she, she, she's leading Thanks, now. Magoo. She's leading now, so yeah, you find a fairly narrow, winding staircase. You go up that, and there's a door to your left, but it also keeps going up. Hmm. Remy is going up. That's what the ring po points. Mm -hmm. But are you checking as you hit each floor, is the question I was asking. Yes, she's checking the ring, not opening any doors unless she's directed to. Yeah. And when you, when you hit the next floor, you're still getting up. And you're not hearing over much in the way of anything, frankly. You start getting arrow slit windows as you start going up to the next flight, however. And a lot of the noise seems to be outside. But she will the ring peek out. Is, yeah, yeah. From if you're looking outside, yeah, you don't want to be out there. You really don't want to be out there because that's a fucking army. <laughs> Abishai, an awful lot of Abishai. More draconians than you would have considered. So where 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 are they got where they got the eggs from that? Well, you kind of know. But there's something else. You saw what happened to Varidel, the white. Uh -huh. When it got corrupted. When he got corrupted. This is worse. You don't know what color dragon that used to be. You assume chromatic because of where you are. But it's not a black dragon anymore. Though that's the predominant color. Its I'm eyes... Gonna... Yeah, its eyes are this glowing sort of reddish purple and it doesn't seem overly intelligent but it looks crazed even from the distance you're at an adult size dragon 
a little bigger. It's heading towards ancient. Okay. It's also Are they actively fighting? No, they're apparently gathering for orders. Um, if you keep peering a little bit, you guys are kind of wondering what the pileup is at this point. Uh, you, uh, keep, you keep peering and you see that black minotaur and what you think is a turtle. Can't quite hear the uh, orders being given. A little far for that. Because that's a lot of bodies between you and them. You will notice that... Uh, they're listening fairly quietly, except for the Frankly Filth Dragon, which is, now you can see, throwing itself very violently um, against chains and collar. Mm -hmm. They're having to chain it down so that it doesn't attack them before they sent, but they still apparently intend to send that off after uh, Asmodeus's forces. Can I see any of this? Uh, no, because uh, the, it's, it's only a little arrow slit and Remy uh -huh. was at the front, so she's kind of looking, and she's kind of caused a pile-up at this point. <laughs> I take it you found something, yet Diamat's army is outside. All of it? Oh, you don't say. I. You know, I don't want to say I hope that's all of it, but if it is, that means oh. it's not elsewhere. You know, we'll we'll have we'll have a quick look and we'll discuss it uh, yes. when we're not in uh, dire straits, shall we? So yeah, let's uh, keep if, moving. If, if you peek, you're 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 seeing this, and yeah. I am peeking. I need to know what the fuck we're about to potentially get face rolled by. Yeah, yeah, no, they're 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 currently into the point of uh, of of because now you can all hear the the uh, approving roar, except for the the filth dragon, which is just nuts, insane. Even I've read the book a bunch of times. Would either myself or Ava be able to tell just based on like? I was going to ask that if it's like the frame it's, or... That's the thing. Even Ava, it's mutated to the point where it doesn't mm. have the the the, the 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 head structure and the markings are more tentacular than anything else uh. at this point. Jeez, that's a mm. no. So con <laughs> consider, th consider Thordak's headdress thing, but moving. Mm. Okay, so it's we can tell it's dragon, but that's about it, basically. What well, it used to be dragon. Filth dragon. Right. What's <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sh Cherie doing the cause uh, keen mind? So, oh, that's going to be a report and a half. <laughs> yeah, that that that's horrifying, isn't it? <laughs> Let's try and be quiet, just in case, because they probably still have mm -hmm. some guards up here. Yeah, it's a fairly tall tower, and it. Uh. Uh, the... Hey. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Clarity, hmm? would that thing getting loose qualify as mischief and or whimsy at this point? That, you think? Would, that would be chaos. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's your normal house chains. Uh, Ow. I mean, turning its teeth into candy? That would be mischief. When they really deserve it, I'm. I'm just. I, I'm. Idle thought. Idle thought. It's just chaos I, screaming. I don't want to get close enough to that thing to find out anyway. That, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, it's not until you've hit a further five stories and you're about to the end of the stairs that Remy's ring start stops pulling up and starts pulling in. This one. Are you saying this or yeah, muttering it's it? This one. It's this one. She points to a door. Yes, I'm asking how loud you're speaking. It loud enough for the party. Uh, 
Oh wow! The, oh, the, no. the, the, the the hand of fate hates you so much. Um, Shree is just like uh, you know that if you're hearing, if I'm hearing this all the way down here, they can probably hear it through that door. Remy, draws your sword and readies yourself to burst in the, that door. Okay, I'm gonna ask for an athletics check because you're. Uh, uh, apparently attempting to kick in a door while you're standing on a relatively narrow landing. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. Wow. This is the this is the only time this, this die rolls badly. The first the first hand of fate roll was in that one. And I have now rolled a five. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, you get you, Remy kicks the door in. There were three guards. Two of them are very dead. The third is not looking well. But the third took advantage of the moment of distraction from Alice, who's responsible for the two dead ones, uh, by effectively ramming a dagger through her throat. She's not dead yet, but the fight is pretty much out of her at the point of what you have, thankfully, is uh, neither a Abishai or a Draconian. This is a green dragonborn. In reasonably good armor. But is seeing you guys kind of pile in behind Remy and all of a sudden noticing just how outnumbered he is. <laughs> What is everybody going to do? Remy charges in and runs for Alice. Okay. Well, which is also, of course, where the guard is. Yep, but uh, basically you guys kind of have a surprise round because he blew his action. Uh, I mean, to be fair, all she really needs is the, 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 the dagger out and healing because she hasn't even gone to unconsciousness yet. Yeah, uh... If we have a surprise round, I'm trying to cast hold person on the dude. Uh, on the dude. On the dragon. Okay. Um, what's your spell save DC? Dragonborn. Let me. I'll. I'll park the thing up. It'll. It'll display my DC as well. Okay. Make sure it's not in the attack section. Nope. It's in the normal spell section because rule twenty is weird that go. way. Yeah. DC is sixteen. Well, finally, a low roll goes your way. <laughs> yeah, the the, the 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 green dragonborn. So, to... Remy will cast. Uh, is it? I'll say within thirty feet. Yeah. Yeah. She will run up and give her twenty points of lay on hands, and remove the dagger. Yeah, she's she's looking at you in kind of a okay. This is a reversal of things. <laughs> She <laughs> will very hurriedly hand sign that she's here to help. Yeah, okay, you're mostly getting uh, bewildered. Why do I know that kind of look? Why is that familiar? Look? Oh, God. And you see her kind of make the gesture, like that's going to help her figure out what it means. Seems to get the just sort of, but still looking at you kind of dubiously in a... In, the gesture's a little crude because it's mostly unconscious, but it's... Help doesn't exist here unless I do it, is the general gist. Okay, so you have a... You have a, a, a frozen, but not for very long, Dragonborn. Yeah, there's, there's a glow in a basically a ring around my wrist, and then also basically two rings, one on top of him. And then Is on, somebody on his going feet. to do something about that? Might want to tie that up. Barnabas. Hmm. 
He's gonna get cuffed and gagged. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're you're gonna leave him alive. For for now. Okay. I mean, we just wanted to make sure he didn't start screaming or making any gurgling noises or hitting anything as he falls over. Yeah, I mean, Alice kind of gets up because obviously the dagger in the throat kind of still looking at you guys like. What in the everlasting fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> yeah, after I, when I have the, once I see him having tied, tied the guy up, just dropping the spell, I'm like, Bruh! Yeah, Alice is kind of backing in the general direction of a wall, like, she has no idea what the fuck. Remy, the lockets. Yep. Remy will take out the locket, and... Turn on the illusion. Hold it out. Yeah, um... Hazel's the wise one, Barnabas is the intelligent one. Together, from their own different perspectives, may reason all of a sudden that Alice doesn't know what she looks like at this point. Somebody... Who got? Does anyone have a fucking mirror? Does she actually know what one of those is and what it does? Is Barnabas's thought. Um, she remembers nothing. She doesn't know what a mirror is, even. Meanwhile, Clarity <laughs> is undoing the. Uh, is 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 quietly uh, uh, picking the locks on the cages of these Asmar who are looking at this like. Like they're watching an episode of Days of Our Lives. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Clara is going, look, uh, if you go down, I've left some marks. If you look for this symbol, if you feel along the walls for it, we can see in the, oh, for that too, then great. Um, you head back through that, and there's a collapsed tent, and you get everybody back to the, 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 the the, the the tombs uh, it's a it's, it's a couple of days walk but when you get there you tell them that we're going to be sending somebody to get them all out okay uh, they're sort of a very quiet meeping from one of them thanks I think <laughs> and then sorry about this you. You guys kind of had the face first in adventure or nonsense. Well, we'll talk about that when we're not in hell anymore. Yeah, yeah. Smart yeah. idea, smart idea. Yeah. Mirror, mirror, mirror. I'll say it's still a certain amount of, okay, I do. First, okay, I didn't know that did that. Okay, that's pretty, but why the fuck do you think it's so important? Monarity, do you have a mirror? Uh, didn't. Clarity is, does she know what a mirror is or does? No, but if she she can see herself, if... Well, she knows she'll how about it. Sheree, uh, Sheree is... A person would probably be oh, able fuck. to pass the mirror test. This is, where, this is where Sheree has lost entire amounts of patience. Um... And that was the shittiest save ever. So, uh, well, you all are arguing, and Alice a is very clearly looking for a way out of this craziness. She ceases to move. All right, everybody just grab a hold of me somewhere. Puts an arm on, on Alice A's. Remy grabs Shuri in one hand and Alice a in the other hand. Yeah, just Quickly. latching onto this chain. And grabs him. And grabbing yep. clarity. <laughs> yep. Yep. And takes out the the coin. And no, it's very definitely not a portal. Where you do end up, on the other hand, is uh, a fairly cushy sort of room, but. Uh, there don't seem to be any windows, but what you've got is kind of it kind of looks like a spa setup. 
There's a mm. steaming hot sort of tub things sunk into the ground. A larger tub that apparently has colder water down there. A um, couple of loungers. Uh, it appears that uh, I mean, Ryland's got the, the passive perception. This is probably uh, this is probably um, the, the palace's uh, personal spa. And by that point, about a minute has passed, and uh, Alice is sort of backing up in a sort of an okay, where the fuck am I now kind of look. <laughs> oh no. Remy, well, I'm looking hands for a door. Door. <laughs> there, there, there's, yeah, there's 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 a, there's a few doors, and you you assume she's looking at you because right now she's trying to find a way out too. <laughs> Remy will hand sign that they are somewhere safe and not in hell. Copies the gestures, but doesn't really understand the concept of hell. Barely understands the concept of safe. Sherry, where are we? Ah, uh, yes. This I think is... we're in the palace. Yes, uh, right? this, this is this is uh, the governor's spa. There's a hot spring under the palace, so. Ah, uh, thank you. Isn't that convenient? Okay. Yeah, LSA is still kind of up against the wall, like, please tell me there's a way out of here, because this there is entirely a... nuts. So there's like yeah, a pool of water? At this point. There's a couple of them, actually. There's one round one that's giving off steam, and another one that's probably colder water, more in a rectangle next to it. Remy points to the cold water, very insistently to LSA. <laughs> Hoping she will look at her reflection. <laughs> no, she... Barnabas sits down away from her, but just doing the body language of I am your friend. Relax. I'm going to have to ask you to make me a persuasion check. Okay. Earn disadvantage off. Yes, that would be. <laughs> <good idea. laughs> okay, yeah. At least the 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 general sense you're getting is at least he's not flailing at me. <laughs> she's still pretty wary, but she's not Hazel. Hazel. quite Calm. so desperately looking for a way out right now. I'm Actually, not flailing. I'm he I'm finding a door and getting. Just sit, just sit down. down. Just sit down. I follow suit to the bonnets when I see her coming down a little bit. Yeah, but to be fair, it's, most, it's mostly Remy who's flailing at this point. Well, no, I'm Barnabas gonna... isn't dumb enough to tell Remy to just sit down. I'm <laughs> gonna pick a door. Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, first we're handing a fate. Okay. I'm just gonna look, like open look. Yeah. Here's uh, hoping that that Barnabas face palming at Hazel doing something is familiar enough to her. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, the 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 hand of fate kind of hates you. And oh um, can Hazel make me a strength save, please? Oh lord. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. Given the role I made, yeah, it is. Oh crap! Yeah, that was my base role for. <sighs> yeah, because Remy is still flailing, probably looking at Barnabas like, "I'm trying to get her to understand what are you doing." Uh, Hazel has opened a door that uh, actually leads outside the I palace, and peek out. yeah, and as she does. There's enough light and fresh air, which are two things that Alice has never experienced beyond this is out. This is good. And <laughs> I get bomb rushed. Yeah, you basically get sort of 
thankfully fairly gently shoved out of the way and wings. Can I, try, can I try and use up her strike to grab her before she does that? Probably not, but... Uh, I don't think you can use that for grapple checks if anybody nah. wants to attempt to... Uh... Dang it. Because I can't use um, an ensnaring strike because that takes a while to cast. Uh, I don't want to... Remy would attempt to grab, if possible. Uh, that's uh, we'll we'll do athletics. In the sound of this, my reaction's Ugh. gone. So. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Oh, you, she. She. She's. I got launched. She's always well. First of all, Rem, Remy, Alice has always been a little stronger than you, and she's faster than you now too. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Hazel has been thankfully cut kindly displaced and Cherie only had that one slot so now of course if Remy had attempted hold person we might be doing something a little differently but um no apparently not uh, uh you know when I'm like just in a pile <laughs> yeah god's fucking it. Shuri is just uh, when Barnabas told you to sit down maybe you should have just sat down uh, figures that of all the doors it had to be the one directly out why did you open it before we just calmed her down why are you even trying to open a door in the first place I'll explain later Maybe we should try catching her. How? She's faster than any of us. I don't fly. fucking know! Do something! Remy runs out after her. <laughs> fucking Rylan's running too at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're at about that time. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't expect you to be <laughs> Futzing around with doors. I really <laughs> did not fucking expect that. So I had to roll for which one you found, and there's two. There's one into the palace, and there's one out to the you know, post spa relaxy garden place. And 50 50 said that one. Well, a, a, a two on the hand of fate said that one. <laughs> Because it was going to be the least convenient fucking door. There were, in fact, a couple of other doors. Because, you know, there's there's out to the palace, there's out to the gardens, and then there's, like, towel storage. But you didn't pick towel storage. <laughs> not according to no, the head to fate, you didn't. No, because, like I said, the head to fate was a two! <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have two weeks to... This to chaos. Well, now you guys have two weeks to think about where you're going to find Alice in a city she does not fucking recognize. Um, I... At least it's not hell. Mm, That's fair. I'm, right. I'm going to have to figure cool. out a little Small bit wins, more I guess. what to do about uh, uh, about Darwin and Dawn, because I wasn't necessarily considering uh, bringing you all back quite this soon, but... Well, at that point, it was the only thing you could really actually do. Can so, I do one final thing, or...? We're getting on, but what is it? Very quick. Uh, well, if Remy's running after her, it would probably follow, but also thinking, trying to, like, reach out to Zuriel somehow. Not sure how, but, like... Yeah, that it's the not sure how that's the problem. If y'all had sat still for five minutes, we could have got to that. But now you need to ask some people or figure out what you're going to do. So we'll deal mm -hmm. with that in two weeks' time. Fair enough. That'll give you some time to think about what it is you actually want to say, do, etc. Mm -hmm. So I will see you all in two weeks. Thank you for an interesting session. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs>